Hi guys, um, so today I thought I would share with you what is in my two-year-old's Easter basket. Um, I don't have it decorated or anything yet. Um, I am doing a living Easter basket this year. So um, yeah, so I did do a tutorial on that just a few days ago and um, the grass is growing really well. Um, so basically I have a basket insert that's gonna go inside his basket. And instead of doing plastic grass or paper grass, I'm actually growing real grass. And so um, then I'll just put everything in the grass. So um, I'll show you the finished product when um, I guess it's going to be Easter by the time I show it to you. But for now, I'll show you the contents of his basket. This is the basket we're using. It's just a blue basket. He got this the year he was born because he was born on Good Friday. Um, so sometimes he's an Easter baby. Or sometimes, I mean, sometimes his birthday will fall on Easter. I did get this large book. I didn't know it was so large, but it's, it's not going to fit in his basket. I did get him this, though, with Easter in mind. It's called One Special Day, a story for big brothers and big sisters. And I thought that this would be sweet to, you know, just to have for him since he's going to become a big brother in um, two and a half months now. <laughs> so it's really sweet. It's all about this little boy and how he's, you know, similar to these different animals and then how he, you know, becomes like this great big brother. Um, so it's kind of nice instead of the focus being on the baby so much, it's about the little boy and the person he becomes. Um, so that's cool. So that's the book I got him. It's not going to fit in his basket, but we'll give it to him anyhow. So, here's everything in his basket, just kind of thrown in there um, as it fits. First thing I got him was a, a new watering can. He loves to garden. We have a mint plant that we just leave down at his level. Um, it's the only plant, our only house plant that we let him have at, you know, his level. Everything else is up out of his reach. But, um, yeah, so he has a little mint plant and he waters it and he randomly... If he wants to, he'll go and pick off some leaves and chew on mint. Um, and he knows it's okay to do that, and he loves mint. <laughs> um, so this is by Hoppe. Um, probably one of my favorite children's brands. Um, so Hoppe. And I believe it's made... Okay, it's, I think it's a German company. Or Switzerland. And um, yeah, maybe it's from Switzerland. So a little watering can. Super cute. A lot bigger than the one he has now. I got him a new cup. This is just a regular open cup by OXO. And yeah, so it has like a nice little grip around here. I love the gender neutral green, you know. I, I actually don't like the color blue that much. <laughs> I, I mean, it's okay. I'm not a big blue person, and having a boy, like, everything's like, oh, blue, 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 blue. So I, I kind of get sick of blue. Um, so I like green, too, because then future siblings, if they're not a boy, you know, green is a nice gender-neutral color. So we got him that cup. Um, I just got him a little packet of flower seeds. I showed this in my Michaels haul um, that we'll just plant outside somewhere something to go with that is a little book called The Little Gar little Gardener. Yeah, Little Gardener. And it's pretty sweet. It's got like, you know, these pages that fold up like that. And um, it's a really cute book. Um, I love the, the colors and the illustrations. Um, so yeah, so that is um, what we got him is the little gardener book, some stickers, every, every toddler loves stickers. Um, these I just got at the dollar store, nothing fancy, just some sunshine. Some paint brushes, he kind of just had those cheap ones, um, so I wanted to get him something thicker, you know, like you know, larger for his little hands. I got him these Melissa and Doug paint brushes, jumbo paint brush. So they look, I bet they'll be a lot of fun. He's really been into artwork. Um, so paint brushes. 
we don't do candy for him, he's two and Chase, Chase, David and I both have ridiculous sweet tooth. Um, so <laughs> we're trying to, you know, not have him have a bunch of sugar or anything like that. Plus he's, he's two and I don't want him running all over the place and bouncing off the walls. So, um, someone suggested this, we just got some little trail mix and I put it in a bag for him. There are chocolate chips in here. It's got um, pumpkin seeds, almonds, cashews, dried cranberries, and then like chia, cinnamon, granola. I think that's it, and chocolate chips. I got this, um, I was gonna do it homemade, but I don't have the time. I got it, I'm planning his birthday party. So um, I just bought the bag at Costco. And so there's a little snack for him. Um, I did get him some bubbles, but we, we already opened them and he's been playing with them because he's a little obsessed with bubbles. So I do have um, some jelly bean scented bubbles that I got him and they were only a dollar and we've already been using them. Um, so lastly, what I got him was one of these little, um, what are they called, like a, like a ribbon wand thing. Um, this one is by Great Explorations. It's got like a little purple sparkly wand and then just like a rainbow ribbon and then he can like wave it around. Um, we go to a little gym and they had these different little wands with ribbon on them and he just recently started playing with them so I'm like, huh, no, that's cool, I'll get him one of these and it's good for his motor skill development. So um, yeah, see they show little things they can do, little like the wave and circles and yeah, so this looks like something he's going to have fun with around the house or even outside. So that is what we got our two-year-old for his Easter basket. Nothing crazy. Um, and then again, it's going to have real grass. I haven't decided. It's already about, it's about that tall already. So, I don't know. Probably going to have it about that high. And then it'll like kind of spread out and we'll put everything in the grass. Um, and I will post a picture. I'm really excited for the Living Easter basket. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and have a happy Easter. Bye.